Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast here on YouTube. How have I never covered this? This was probably, it was, it was the first anime I ever saw in a theater. I mean, I got a cousin that swears up and down that was a Pinocchio in outer space. We saw that in the theater. I'm not 100% sure on that because I don't trust his cousin on his memory. Uh, if you count Transformers the movie, I did see that before this. I don't count that as anime. I mean, I understand why people would. So this have to be it. This is this is Kira. And this is an old, this old Pioneer DVD. So this thing is ancient. They still got to put widescreen on there let you know. Look at that foil. The Masterpiece returns again with the best sounding multi-channel audio ever. And i got to pull my glasses down to read this. 1988, the blockbuster film Akira changed forever the way the anime was presented in movie theaters. I didn't, did I see it in 88? Give me a second here. How old was I in 88? No, I did not see this in 88. I saw this in... I'm trying to think. Okay, 88 I would have been... Summer 89. I'll say 90. I was about 16. Um, and we told, I don't know what my buddies told their parents, because I was not the one driving, I was riding with a buddy, but I was willing to pay for gas, and they're like, cool, we'll go see it, because they had, uh, heard me raving about wanting to see it, because we couldn't find the VHS anywhere, and I was not going to pay what they wanted, but the theater over in, oh shit, it was the art house theater, is right outside of New Orleans, we drove over there and saw it, so, so let's go back, 88. Uh, 13 years later, a complete visual restoration of Akira once again changes the way anime movies were meant to be heard. Experience true spirit, the quality theater sound as the blockbuster film Akira is remastered in a 5.0 multi-dimensional sound by the original movie composer Shoji Yamashiro of Gino Yamashiro Gumi. No idea. Mixed with original Japanese style of this new Japanese 5.1 DTS surround sound delivers an even more realistic and dynamic, dynamic full immersion into the explosive music and sounds of the Akira world. Childhood friends, Tetsuo! Kanida! <laughs> you gotta scream them. Tetsuo! Kanida! They just yell them out throughout the movie. Most of them encounters a military operation to retrieve an escape experimental subject. The military captures Tetsuo and conducts experiments on him, unleashes latent psychic ability. But when these new powers rage out of control, Tetsuo lashes out the world to try to impress him. Okay. Take what if the world of Blade Runner? Because it looks, a, I mean, this. The manga, I have not actually finished, and I was reading the epic version, which people, I see people bitching about the coloring all the time. I don't care. Kiss my ass. I thought it looked good. That's the one that looks best to my eyes. It's one of those where, you know, I know people don't want to watch a movie full frame, and I'm like, really? But okay, I ain't going to bitch too much about it. And, okay. But this, because this came out in 88. That's before the manga was over. The manga ended in 90-something. Then. Let me go look that up. But uh, like I said, went to the theater, drove theater, and dude, this was just like we're like, oh shit. Because my buddies by then, we got introduced to anime fairly early on and knew it was anime. I mean, I had seen. I'm not sure what my first anime was if it was is it a Gigantor or Speed Racer because they aired the syndication area, but like uh, Robotech, you know, Star Blazers, uh, Battle of the Planets or whatever it's called was it. G Force, maybe at one time, threw out there, you know, Voltron. And I had a friend whose uncle lived part of at this time, lived like most of the year in Japan, and then would come home for holidays and stuff to, the, uh, to Mississippi where he had a little place and stayed. He always, you know, he'd bring stuff around. We saw like I remember seeing Wicked City uncut in Japanese and having no clue, just watching going, what the hell? There's spider webs coming out of there? Wow. You know, stuff like that. So, what am I looking up? Akira manga. Damn. I don't feel like typing it in. I'm going I'm to say the manga in, in the 90s, because I'm, I'm thinking that's about right, because Epic did it for Marvel, and then it's been put out a couple more times. It might be out of print. But yeah, okay, so that world, uh, they're psychic kids. Tetsu, like they say, gets... The shit in him, and he starts going. And it's like, like I said, it's Blade Runner, but it feels like body horror. It's kind of like a cyber. What if David Cronenberg and David Lynch got together and worked on a cyberpunk body horror 
just fucked up fever dream. And that's a keyword. So what's our extras? New Japanese 5.1, the restored picture, 2001 version, English subtitle scene access. Oh, oh, this is how old this is, and I got this used, and it looks... I gotta give it a clean, but there ain't no scratches. Paid like a dollar. And you know it's an old one, because... Oh, God, look, they still have the old Pioneer. I actually would fill out this car <laughs> and send it in. Okay, and it's just a... They don't do this anymore. You get, like, the cover, and then on the back you get, you know... And the story, there's not, I mean, there's an ending in this, but it's not, I think it's like, was it the first third of the manga is all what's in this? I can't remember. It's been forever. Because I remember seeing this and then I started reading the manga from Marvel because I want to say that was one of those where it sure as hell was not coming out monthly. Like, they would wait till they had enough to fill up like 30 pages and print a thing. So you're getting like, you know, four, five, six issues a year if I'm remembering right in it costs a little bit because you're having to pay for the color and all that. But I remember reading through it and then when like they got past, I was like, oh, they're getting near the end and they got past this. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Because <laughs> I was picking up, oh, and at one time they had a little bit of value, like the first few issues and the last few because they were low print runs, but I think people just don't like them now for the color. I don't know. And there's probably people who hate this edition because there's something wrong with it. I don't know. I, I got it. I've watched it once. I'm like, oh, man. And I did see this one more time in the theater. Uh, when I lived out in Texas, the... Shit. I don't remember the name of that theater. It was like the Art House Indie Theater up in Houston. It might have been right outside of Houston. It might have been like Texas City or something like that. Got it in 2000 and... Three, four, somewhere. When did this... Whenever this got like another like kind of... Decent theatrical release in the States. So 2003, four, somewhere around there. They got it. They got it then. We drove up for that. And I was like, oh. and this time it was somebody who'd never seen it came with me. You know, they've seen some anime. It's fun. It's fun. Now. That cover. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. That, that hollow foil. They spent some money on that cover. Is it a different type of paper? I'm just curious now. No, it's a, you know what, though? The foil's heavy. It definitely has a feel to it. Huh. I'll, I'll get so interested in, like, paper stock and shit. It's weird. It's weird. But I'm going to get out of here. Go watch Akira. If you've never seen Akira, this is on... It's on something. Hold on. Give me a second. I will tell you what streaming services this is available on. Or, I mean, you can always go buy it. I know there's got to be copies of this somewhere out there. For sure. I'm sure it's got a nice... Blue. Hell, it's probably got a 4K. This DVD was not much. And this was found at a local leader's place called Vendors Emporium. And there's always a, a bin out front full of everything here is half off. And I think whoever had it won in like two bucks. So I got it for a dollar. Sorry. Taking a second from my half to look. Okay, it's so on a Hulu. And Funimation, it looks like. You can rent it off Voodoo for three bucks or buy it for nine bucks. Hulu's got an SD and HD, same for everything else I mentioned. And not available in 4K. Okay. But yeah, definitely check it out. Hope you enjoyed that. Thumbs up. Out. Laters.